It's a Johnson 1946 TD20. Five horsepower at 4,000 RPM. Uh, and it was made from 46 to 49. It's really a pre-war engine design, but the the way it was done after the war, the recoils work better, the handles line up well, and it starts extremely well and runs very, very well and kind of sets the pace for the three horse and the five and a half to come later. It has a... Um, doesn't have an impeller, it has uh, one of those keyhole donut rigs that an oscillator which uh, squeezes the uh, water around and it pumps very, very well, no, no problems and it, it, it puts out good horsepower but it's a little bit overrated. I think the engine doesn't put out any five horsepower, um, probably more like about four and it's uh, it's a nice running engine. It idles down well. It uh, uh, runs very, very well. And I remember them as a kid. They were everywhere. The five horsepower that I remember probably the most. The later one had a flip-out thing here for neutral. This one does not have that. It's uh, an early one and doesn't have it. Um, it, uh, it reverses. You know, you can swivel it all the way around to reverse. And um, it handles well. It's fairly light, um, doesn't leak. The carburetor seems to work well. It's got a two carburetors. It's got a low-speed carburetor and a high-speed carburetor. And um, as I say, it seems to run very, very, very well. Um, it's on a 1935 uh, Old Town, um, what they call a square stern and uh, it came with and without sponsors. This one did have sponsors, but I took them off. I don't like the looks of them. But we were out in this boat with uh, three adults and a dog, and it's very comfortable, very stable, very seaworthy. Um, and we were out in some fairly rough, rough water too today, and it worked great. The engine worked great, and the boat was superb. So they knew what they were doing back in the old days. Uh, it's a it's a nice rig. It seems to be very balanced. It's a good good horsepower for the boat.